Well, they are as much a part of the city as the stench of garbage on a garbage day in the summer. Now, raccoons are everywhere. And last night, I had a family of five hold a party in my kitchen, a kitchen party. We spoke to one expert on how to deal with them. We also spoke to one lady who actually welcomed a critter into her home. Well, she wasn't really a pet. Uh, she was more of a housemate. Um, she lived with me. She ate my food. We hung out. Margaret Ray figures Lucy, as her companion was christened, was about four weeks old and an orphan. When she moved in last year up near Shelburne, Ray says she became mom to her and that Lucy was even house trained. She got onto it pretty quick, but she picked where her litter box was. I just put it there. Ray says she even learned some words such as no and get off the damn table. She would climb on everything. And she'd pull the window blinds down and she'd stick her nose through. I had window, I had nose marks all over my window of the house. Now, I know a few things about that. Last night, a mother and her four kids broke into my kitchen through the window, took out the screen. They helped themselves before we could get them to leave, albeit they left on their own schedule. Is a screen anything against them? Not really. The, the, the raccoons usually, uh, they, they, they go through uh, a thicker plywood. This is basically nothing to them. They can just walk in and walk out. Shervin Bagani owns SOS Wildlife Control. He says with few predators, a steady food supply, and so many wonderful places to call home, their population is growing. Looking in here, eight to nine to ten homes that can have them. The chimney is wide open right there, that chimney in the middle. They can go in there, it's not covered, so they can just go in there and live in there forever, right? Bagani says one city block can be home to dozens of raccoons. Now there are some things you can do to deter them. If you have a compost, seal it. Don't leave the cover on the barbecue or patio furniture. They're lovely hiding places. Also, keep your garden thin so they have nowhere to hide there. As well, those sprays, again, he doesn't feel they work that well. Now, he says if one does get under your deck, he says it's best to get a professional to remove it. People doing it themselves often catch just the mom, leaving the babies to die, or they trap a skunk. He also says do not try to kill a raccoon. First of all, it's, it's, it's not humane. It's against the law. It's, you can be charged animal cruelty, and, and it's, a, it's a criminal record. And uh, also, what is this animal going to go and die? It's going to die close by, maybe in your attic, underneath your deck, then you have to deal with it. So what about our companion story, Ray and Lucy? Well, Ray says they eventually had to part company. Happened earlier this year. Lucy started turning wild at about a year old, and Ray says she knew it was time. But she still actually sees her out in the wild. So would she get another raccoon? Absolutely not. They, if, if you mix a cat, a toddler, and a dog together, that you get a raccoon. And for more incentive, it's actually illegal in Toronto and many other jurisdictions to keep a raccoon as a pet.